home slice. If you eat a lot of cereal, save your boxes because we can make magazine holders that'll look something like this. This can also be used to store notebooks, folders, and the best part is you get to make a cereal box into something useful. You will need either a jumbo sized cereal box or a two regular sized ones, clear tape, wrapping paper which I saved from a present, a glue stick, and a pair of scissors. First we are going to make a flap out of one of the large faces so start cutting on the parallel edges. And do the same to the other box. Cut off the flaps from where you open the cereal box. For the flap that we just made, cut off about three-fourths of it. Moving on to the second box, it turns out that we don't need the flap so you can just cut that right off. And remove the other little flaps as well. Put the exposed sides of each box facing each other and connect them with a piece of tape. Flip the boxes over and tape the other side too. Fold the bottom flap to cover the base and onto the face of the other box and then secure that with tape. And now you're left with a much bigger box. Pick one of the two sides that was just taped together and cut on the edges parallel to each other about 3 fourths of the way down. Bend that flap over to make a crease and then cut straight across. Now we are going to make diagonal cuts on the faces that haven't been touched yet, starting from the top corner of the short face to the high corner of the face parallel to it. You can lay down the wrapping paper and apply glue to all four faces of the box. Put one face down and roll the box like a snowball. Smooth out the wrapping paper and you can fold the excess inwards. Then just add some tape. As you can see here, I covered up the short face with more wrapping paper as well as the insides. Except for the bare parts on the walls, I just figured they wouldn't be seen anyway. Of course you can decorate this any way you'd like, but I am just going to add a little bow out of twine by tying it into a knot and then making a loop with one strand and wrapping that with a second strand and pushing it through a hole in the knot to create another loop. Thank you for watching. If you like this DIY, please subscribe for more and I'll see you soon. Bye!